A Chinese scientist found guilty of selling state secrets to foreign spy agencies was executed in 2016. Wang Yu and nine other cases of spying were detailed in a new government-produced documentary that aired on Chinese state media. Led by Innovation, National Security Sharpens the Sword was created by China's Ministry of State Security as part of a larger campaign to warn citizens domestically and abroad against taking part in espionage. It aired on state broadcaster CCTV on April 14th and detailed, for the first time, 10 spy cases from the past. Basically, it is part of the whole campaign to drum up the Chinese people's awareness of uh, the potential danger in the China's national security. By doing that, they are basically trying to, uh, to, to tell the Chinese public that you can be part of the whole anti-spy game and all that. It's not just uh, the, the, the anti-espionage uh, community's work. The documentary prominently featured the case of Huang Yu, who worked at a classified research unit in China. Out of 10 cases detailed in the film, this was the only one that resulted in the death penalty. So uh, he, was accept he was recruited and uh, was trained in Hong Kong and uh, in Bangkok. Um, then later it was found out that he started to sell lots of uh, the secrets related to the uh, top secret communication system, and uh, he basically compromised the whole development progress. Uh, so he was sentenced to death in 2016. Other prominent cases discussed included Li Huxiang, Zhang Yuqin, and the two Michaels, who were all found guilty of spying for foreign agents. Some were considered less malicious than others, like three young people who were fans of the Chinese People's Liberation Army. They climb over uh, airports fences, military airports fences, and they try. Uh, they they hike a long way into uh, naval base, trying to take pictures. Um, uh, all three cases faced uh, less than ten year uh, sentences, but it served as a warning to Chinese military uh, fans where. Uh, please be careful of what you are photograph, uh, what you are taking, and be very careful that you might leak top uh, military secrets to, uh, to the West. The details revealed in the documentary were rare for a country often quiet about its own judicial process. It's actually a very interesting uh, case because China is such an old pack uh, country and uh, not to mention Chinese government has always been very, very tight-lipped about such cases. But it's on these propaganda videos where you can dig further into these cases and we can have a better feel of uh, how the spying, anti-spying campaigns are happening between China and the West. And most of the time, this is one of the most OPEC part of uh, reporting for most of the people that not only China, I mean, the West intelligence agencies will not tell us lots of things too. Right? Zhang said that media-like videos are emerging as major propaganda tools aimed at youth in China. The Ministry of State Security has been a driving force in these projects. Since the, uh, the new MSS minister came on board, Mr. Chen Yixin, uh, he came on board on 2022. He tried many ways to promote the sense of, uh, the sense of national security, especially on social media grounds. Um, he had uh, developed many social media accounts and even personification, the avatars of uh, uh, national uh, state, the policemen who are behind all these national security efforts. 
Chinese state media said the documentary was a success in showcasing breakthroughs Beijing has made in safeguarding national security. The film was released as part of a campaign marking the annual National Security Education Day.